30% of COVID patients develop long COVID, which is a serious debilitating health problem that can last a lifetime. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Peter Rowe, a long COVID expert and professor at John Hopkins University School of Medicine. Thank you so much for joining us today. What is long COVID? So long COVID is a term that refers to a range of health problems that can occur after an initial acute COVID-19 infection. Uh, the ones that we're most worried about are debilitating fatigue, tremendous problems with concentration and short-term memory that really interfere with people's ability to think and process information. They can have uh, post-exertional worsening of symptoms even after a kind of walk that they would have tolerated easily before. They can have lightheadedness, high heart rates, low blood pressure. A range of respiratory symptoms, really anything where the COVID uh, infection initially attacked can still be a problem. Uh, the duration of symptoms that uh, you need to have to meet the definition of long COVID differs. Uh, it's one month for the CDC definition, three months for the World Health Organization definition. But many patients are still impaired two and a half years into the pandemic and still housebound at the severe end of the spectrum. And can anyone get it even if they've been vaccinated? Vaccination is protective against long COVID, but not completely so. So those who are unvaccinated are more likely to get long COVID. And so that's a risk of remaining without the vaccinations. But even those who have been vaccinated can get breakthrough infections that can lead to long COVID. So we have to remain vigilant about acquiring infection, uh, but we recommend vaccines for everyone as a way of reducing the risk. Besides being vaccinated, are there any other treatments or cures? We don't have a single treatment that's effective for everybody with long COVID, but that doesn't mean there's nothing to be done. We have lots of symptomatic therapies that are borrowed from other areas of medicine. So treatments for migraines, treatments for high heart rates and low blood pressure, treatments for pain, all of those are available. One of the big challenges though, is that there aren't that many places that uh, provide long COVID care uh, yet. And that's an area of pressing clinical needs throughout the country. And is this chronic aftermath of the COVID-19 virus a new phenomenon? Unfortunately not. We've known that a variety of viruses can lead to very prolonged illnesses. So for example, mononucleosis can be followed by what is termed MECFS, which stands for myalgic encephalomyelitis chronic fatigue syndrome. We've known that for decades. And other viruses can trigger the same problem. Many of our patients with long COVID who are severely impaired meet the criteria for MECFS at the six month point and are quite uh, uh, debilitated. They can't continue with their usual activities. They often can't work or continue their education. So we've known about these kinds of illnesses for a while. The hope is that the research being done on long COVID will also apply to those who had pre-COVID uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. So what is being done to find answers and what should we be doing? Well, I think uh, all the countries around the world that have been hammered by COVID are spending a lot of time looking into uh, research that might help us understand how better to treat it, uh, why it occurs, who's at greatest risk for these long-term problems. Uh, and we also need uh, more research and clinical efforts uh, so that more patients can get access to care. We often hear that patients have long wait times before they can get into long COVID clinics, even when uh, even if those clinics exist. So we need better clinical capacity, more understanding at a research level and, and uh, more uh, access. So if our viewers want to get some more information about long COVID, where should they go? They can go to the solvelongcovid.org website. There's information about symptoms, the illness, how to get involved either in studies or registries and how people can help out uh, with the effort to help those who are affected uh, uh, understand their illness and feel better. All right, doctor, thank you so much.